Hi, I'm Lindsay from Shreve Memorial Library and welcome to Art Club. Today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different than what we've been doing. We've been doing a lot of watercolors. So today I have out some acrylics and we are going to make an abstract wave. It'll be super fun. You can do it in any color scheme you want. Uh, I actually got a desk mat with the uh, color scheme that I'm gonna use for this because I and I really, really like it. It has kind of a retro vibe. Um, and so I'm gonna do it in that color scheme, but you can do it however you want. Uh, here is what you'll need. I have, this is an eight by 10 canvas panel that's been gessoed. Um, you can use paper, it's fine. Um, you can you can pretty much use whatever you want. If it is paper, you want it pretty thick. Um, but other than that, uh, you need some paints. I have, let's see, I have a few paints here. Really what you'll need is a red, to do this color scheme, you'll need a red, a yellow, and a blue. Specifically an orangey red and a greeny blue, and you'll need white. The specific colors I have today, you do not need these specific colors, are vermilion red, and I chose that because it's a really orangey red, uh, an orange yellow, um, Naples yellow, because I don't want to go full yellow, but really you can add some white to um, whatever yellow you want to use, and that will pretty get close to doing the same thing. And this is phthalo blue. It's a very greeny blue. It's the green shade of uh, a phthalo blue. And um, at some point I might add a teeny bit of this yellow and I have white. And I also have a pencil and a big paintbrush. So let's get started. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna draw diagonal-ish waves starting about here. And I don't want too many. They don't need to like be exactly parallel to each other. So really I want what, six colors. So I'll have six of these. One, two, three, I might have fewer. Four, five, Six. Cool. So that's it for the drawing part. <laughs> I'm not worried about having super light lines because I'm using opaque paint this time. This would also be a super great time to use gouache, um, but I don't happen to have gouache with me today, so I won't be using gouache today. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the orangey color. Um, so it's going to go, well, it's going to go red-ish, orange-ish, yellow, light blue, darker blue, phthalo blue. Okay. Again, you can do any color scheme you want. This is just what I'm doing. So I'm going to put out my vermilion red. This is somehow I'm out of pellet paper. So this is, um, acrylic paper, but it'll be fine. Okay. And I'm actually... That is redder than I thought. So I'm going to, A, I always forget how much paint it takes when you're painting with acrylics, and it's a lot. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put out some orange, and I'm going to mix some of that orange with it, because that is reddier than I'd really expect. So, paper towel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly dampen my brush off and I'm going to get this red and some of this orange and just depending on what colors you're using do whatever you need to do and I'm going to paint this you might want to use like a an easel or something it's just easier for me to film if it's flat and or use like newspaper or something under your surface. And just paint this first corner in. If you feel like you need to go back in for more, you might want to wait for it to dry. Okay. Get this excess off. And 
there we go. I'm gonna wipe some of this paint off and then I'm gonna go in with the straight orange. Okay, and I'm gonna paint the next section. Okay, there is my orange. And I'm going for the next one since the, the yellow is a kind of more different color. I'm going to go ahead now and go down here to make sure that's dry. Uh, be sure and clean off your brush thoroughly. Okay, I'm going to put out phthalo blue. Got a good bit of it because I'm gonna grade it up or lighter and I'm gonna paint this bottom corner. Okay, if you're painting on a canvas, you're gonna want to be sure and paint the sides. And there is my blue, and now what I'm gonna do is get out my white. And put this here, I guess. Got a good bit of white. If you're gonna get a really big tube of anything, be sure and get a big tube of like titanium white. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean off my brush pretty well. And I'm going to get some blue. Make sure you see that and add some white, okay, because I want it lighter. Okay. Now I'm gonna paint this section, this lighter color blue. Okay, so there's this one. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna put out some more white and some uh, Naples yellow. Put this down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add well, I'm going to put all of this in here, add a bunch of white, like all of this white, I guess, and then add a wee bit of Naples yellow in there. Just a little, we want a pretty subtle yellow in there. We don't want it super duper obvious. Okay. Oh, yeah. A bit more white. A bit more yellow. Get it to whatever color you want. If you're using a completely different color scheme, that's cool too. I'm going to do that. That looks about okay. You can always go back over it. That's the beauty of opaque paint. I'm going to paint this wave. Not light enough. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thoroughly clean my brush and then I am going to uh, dry my painting because I don't want to mess with any of this um, getting the, the, the lightest color getting mixed with the others. Okay, my painting is dry and I think I've decided that um, I don't want straight Naples yellow. I want, straight Nap I want uh, Naples yellow with some white in it. So I'm going to put out a good bit of Naples yellow and yeah, just light and some white. I'm not going to be adding that much white because I don't really 
need to. So that and some white. Let's see, yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more white. I like that, okay. So, and now I'm gonna, with this lighter Naples yellow, again, you can just use super light yellow, uh, I am going to paint this part. Okay, and there is my middle line. I really like the way this looks. So that is it. Um, that be it for our painting. I guess I need to grab a tiny brush so I can sign it. Don't forget to sign your painting. Uh, it's awesome. Wait. It's awesome. Don't forget to sign your painting. It's awesome because you made it. Sign it however you want. I'm just gonna do, let's see, do I have any phthalo blue left? Yeah. Just gonna need to get some phthalo blue. Sign it down here. And there you have it. Here is a pretty retro colored abstract wave. I think it's cute. I'll totally hang this in my office. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a great time. If you painted along with me, uh, please send in a picture to the library's social media. I would love to see what you did, especially if it's like a different color scheme or something exciting. Um, yeah, I will see you next time for more Art Club. Bye.